What's up? Alexo Crypto here. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to the Otter Gang. How's it all going? Quick market update for you guys. Before this weekend, it's the week in Australia, but I'm sure it's the weekend for you. Lots of people looking at the charts here. So the Otter Gang's out here staring at the charts. Remember, FOMO, you must not. Dips, you must buy. And we must not have any revenge trading going on here because we're looking to make some profits. The Grand Theft Otter out here trying to make the profit. So let's take a look at the charts. This is what we can see on the daily. We can see that this trend line that a lot of people are drawing it has been pushed through and look, we are tapping into it and can it be a bouncing pad to the upside? A lot of people are bearish, but unless this is broken, I do not feel completely bearish. We were talking about this for the past couple of days about how a good retracement would be healthy. And where would that retracement come in? Well, it would come in where the FTX dump is. We were also talking about that as well. We have our levels here. We have big volume here that we've marked out from before, zooming in, and we can see that we have some key levels of support here that line up with this trend line. Now, on the daily, we can also see on the market cipher that Money flow has curved down quite significantly, but it's not at the zero mark yet, so there could be a little bit more of a push to the downside. Now, we got to watch this trend here to see if we do get a bullish divergence because we could get one from here to here on the longer term time frames to where we are seeing something like this where it is a hidden bullish divergence. So, Let's be careful because on the longer term time frames, we know how dangerous and those can work out. We had the golden cross and guess what? It dumped on us. So we never know. These are just signals, but we got to be aware. So going into the weekend, what happens on the weekend? We talk about it all the time. Volume drops off, right? We have a big drop off on volume and it's kind of a sideways market. So for me, I would be patient. I've given a couple of setups in the Discord. If you want to join the Discord, links down below. But for me, right now, I'm being extra, extra patient because there, this, brought, this drop here was the SEC coming out with no more staking. And for me, that's news. So news isn't always a dictation of what is priced in, what the markets are saying. You can see on my chart that I have at the bottom of this previous range an alarm and also at the bottom of this range here I have an alarm around 20k. So what can I expect if we do continue lower and we don't get a significant bounce off of this area is to come within this range right here, right? And I expect us to pull a fair, um, our our value, um, our volume, sorry about that, I can't speak English today, and trade in between here until we get any more significant movements, right? If we look to our left, we can see that there is quite a bit of volume down below, and we had it marked out here, and we still do, big volume starts. So if we turn on our VRVP, we can see that the big volume gap that we traded in for so long starts literally right below us, right? This big chunk of volume here where we bounced around for quite some time, I must say, ever since June, June. So this is a very high density, thick volume gap that we did bounce around in, and I don't wanna move my alarm, let me cancel that. Um, but we need to be aware of down below is obviously where we, we're trading for quite some time. We are at the, we start still are above that. So let's be patient. Let's see how the markets react. But over the weekend, I could see a bounce back up into our previous range that we were trading from before. Now my trade setups are very simple. Right now, it's to be patient. We are looking to have good risk management and be cautious of what's below us. Is this trend line? Obviously, we have these key levels of the bottom of the range here that mark match up with fibs. We also have this big volume here. So I am looking for a swing failure pattern here to come down and push upwards with bullish divergence, some sort of exhaustion somewhere around 
right here at 21,300. Now, where else am I looking? Well, if I pull a value area across from here, I will be looking at the lower part of this range where I do have a trend line here. And I also know that there to be a golden pocket right around that area as well. So if I get rid of this, and then I get rid of this, and we pull a fib, we can see that not from here, but from down here, we can see that we do have some beautiful confluences coming in on the lower time frames, right? So we want to be very careful. We want to be trading this, and I'm sorry, I pulled that from the wrong top, but we want to be very careful with that and be watching this area around 23,300. So there is no reason why this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bullish divergence can't play out. But right now it's going to require some volume and it's going to require some people coming in to move the markets. Now I'd be patient on this. I'd be looking for, like I said, a swing failure pattern down to where this trend line is down to around this big volume here at 21.3. But I'd also be watching this 22.349 as well. This previous low where we touched and had been respected in our previous range. It's going to take some volume to get above here. So if we can come up, this would look like a great short opportunity for me. And if we can come down, this would also look like a long. I am a scalp trader slash very short term swing trader. So for me, I'm looking to extract profits out of the market in and out real quickly and let the rest of the trade ride. So right now I'm being patient. I'm sitting on my hands. I'm letting the, the price come to me. Right, because we know within this range, we are at the lower part of this range. Can we roll over? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Going into market cipher and looking over these, we can see that money flow is still continuing down on the shorter hour time frames, like the four, the three, and the five. So let's just be patient out there. Let's see what the market gives us. VWAP has come above. There's many signals that are mixed. But it's also, we had the news, it pushed us down, and now we're into the weekend. So the volume won't be the same, the moves won't be as big, but we have to be patient and wait for them to come to us. So that's my thoughts and ideas. Let's join me in the Discord. Like and subscribe if you like the content. We would love to have you around sharing our thoughts, ideas, trying to grow together. Much love to all of you. Take care, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Peace out.